back about uh, 28 years ago when I started working on my third play, which is my musical called Older Girls. I <laughs> <laughs> in the faculty every Saturday, and the nun that she helps decides to take on this, this quest of hers kind of as a lark at first. But as time goes by, the young nun's consciousness rises and she runs into trouble. That's pretty typical. So I'm going to just read something, something from Act Two. point in the play, Act Two, where the, the young girl, her name is Bibiana, and she comes to the rectory to talk to the priest about her desire to become an altar girl. I'll let you know when I play the priest also, the male <laughs> priest. <laughs> I came here today, Father to tell you that I still want to be an altar girl. Now, just a minute, little girl. I told you that, I told you last time that I've memorized the Latin, where to stand during Mass, and I told you that the Catholic Church, what gender is the Pope? The Catholic Church is ruled by men, priests. You do realize, of course, that Jesus was a man. Yes, but... And you believe he was the Son of God? Yes, but... For 2,000 years, everyone's believed this. Should the church change a rule just for you? She opens her Bible. It says here in the Bible, Let us make man in our image, in our likeness, in the divine image, male and female, they were created. I'm well acquainted with that passage. It says our image, our likeness. That means that God can be both a man and a woman. How could God not be a woman too? If we women are in God's image, God must be part girl. <laughs> That's blasphemy. You know you know the creed, the Pledge of Allegiance to our faith. Say it for me now. I believe in God the Father Almighty. Does it say mother? Does it? Answer me. No, but in the Bible, the Holy Ghost is referred to as a her, in feminine pronouns, as a woman. If you believe the Bible to be God's word, Father, then God is also part of woman. And I suppose God wears lipstick so she can look pretty. I don't know what God wears, but my mother doesn't always wear lipstick, and she looks just as pretty without it. <laughs> Switch to Act 3. Today, some 46 years later, the play is set around 1962. Um, just around the time of Vatican II, of Vatican II, and I have a scene in there actually where the sisters are changing their habits and their song is Changes, which is the topic of my homily tonight. So, uh, 46 years later, what's changed in our thinking about relationships? How have we been converted changed in our relating to people of different races, of different lands and customs, to the homeless, homosexuals, to God, to the earth, to women in our world community and women in the church. We have begun to see 
the feminine face of God. Viviana can now be an altar girl, at least the last time I heard. <laughs> that may change tomorrow. <laughs> and women, like me, a grown-up Viviana, are following their call. We can be who God calls us fully to be, even a Roman Catholic priest. Within a renewed priesthood, we can transform our church into the justice and peace vision of the Beatitudes, where men and women are called anew into the discipleship of equals as partners and equals. People are doing it in many places in different ways. Calling forth the gifts of the community to serve the world. Jesus gave us our mandate in the Gospels to work for justice and peace, for the kingdom in our midst, K-I-N-D-O-M, kinfolk, sisters and brothers on an equal playing field, not kingdom or hierarchy, but rather like Dorothy Day lived out the kingdom, like the people here at the Dorothy Day Catholic Worker are living out the kingdom. The church can no longer proclaim justice in the world without living the Beatitudes, bringing forth justice within the church. Yes, women priests have been the elephant in the living room. And now, Father Roy has courageously stepped forward to prophetically affirm little Bibianos. Father Roy has now brought peace and justice back to the church from a movement not only happening in our world community, but a movement that must happen in our church. Conversion is changing course. It is the response to the presence of God. Always mindful of God's love and care for us, we now bring the needs of the people throughout the world to our loving God. After each intercession, the response is, loving God, hear our prayer.